Dwayne Wade misses first game of season for personal reasons. Personal because he is black. So they sync that up with him being black in this propaganda. He right now is 36 years old. That game he missed happened on the 7th of November. That's a date with 36 numerology. 11 plus 7 plus 18, 36. The word first equals 36, reversing the alphabetical order and reducing each letter to a single digit. So, first we get that syncing up. On top of that all, why for his personal reasons? From that game he missed to his upcoming 37th birthday, 72 days, 10 weeks, 2 days. First equals 72, missing his first game, the first game he's missed. 10 weeks, 2 days, because this nigger is what they're calling him for personal reasons, you know, because he's a nigger, that's what they're saying. Reversing that public order. And the full reduction, it sums to you 42. So let's do from his 36th birthday to the date he missed the game. You will see that it's 42 weeks, not counting the end date. So 42 weeks from his 36th birthday, 10 weeks, two days from his upcoming 37th birthday. And it's saying it's for personal reasons and nigger equals 42102. Racist. Riddles from the National Basketball Association. Plays on the Heat. Miami equals 27, 36. That's why you have this guy, his team being used for the first riddle. So understand what's going on. Enjoy the rest of the video. What's good? It's Chigozi. It's Thursday, November 8th, 2018. Since it's 11 slash 8, and in the Jewish cipher, the word death equals 118, they expect a celebrity death, a tragedy, a false flag, terror event in the media. This video is going to show you why Dwayne Wade missed first game of season for personal reasons. And this is more racist propaganda from the NBA, from the federal government, from ESPN. Understand why they're using personal reasons. Well, here is where we can all learn this together. So if you're completely new here, you don't follow the world of sports, we'll look at this guy right now. Who is this guy? Dwayne Wade. He is a theatrical actor a performing artist, a stage clown for the federal government, for this one world order, Zionist Jew, Kabbalist, Freemasonic, Jesuit order. The Jesuit order, the Society of Jesus, the Masonic order within the Catholic Church, that's what they are. They run the world of professional and collegiate sports. That's why at the end of this video, we'll see why Ohio State beats the Bearcats on that Ohio date on the seventh on the seventh, one one slash seven, sixty-four to fifty-six. We'll see at the end two numbers for Catholic and the Society of Jesus. And we'll see why Dwayne Wade then missed first game of season for personal reasons. So Dwayne Wade, let's look at his name Gematria. Dwayne Wade equals 42. Saturn equals 42. Nigger equals 42. And that same full reduction. LeBron James born 12 slash 30. December 30th, 12 plus 30 is 42. LeBron James equals 42. Remember him and Dwayne Wade were on the same team? Or no? Oh, yeah, they were. And they were acting together because LeBron James went to the Heat because he's an actor doing what he's told to do. Nigger equals 42. So, all you got to do then is look up the actor we're talking about. Dwayne Wade. And you're hearing me correctly. That's all he's done. Basketball is fake. 
is 100% complete fake. All the propping in and news stories he's in, Wayne Wade is, is all fake, scripted theater. You're living out a play. He's one of the actors deceiving you. Notice how he's born January 17th, 1 1 slash 7. So on 11 slash 7, he's out for his first game of the season or whatever they called that what one. January 17th, 1982. So you just do from when that happened. It was the 7th. And then he's born January 17th. This is how you see how basketball is fake. This is why I'm trying to show you. If you're new here, you're skeptical or whatever, this is how you can see basketball is fake. All the rituals they do are all by the numbers. Exactly 42 weeks from his upcoming birthday. What's happening? Dwayne Wade missed his first game of season against the Spurs. Spurs equals 42 when you reverse the alphabetical order, where A is 26, Z is 1. So do you see how against the Spurs, 42, Dwayne Wade, 42, 42 weeks from his birthday. He's missing out on his first game. Nigger equals 42. This is fake news propaganda. Dwayne Wade is an actor for the federal government. And look at this paragraph of propaganda. It is the first game Wade has missed this season. His 16th and final campaign in the NBA. He is averaging 14.3 points on 45% shooting in nine games, all of them as a reserve. The sum of numbers one through nine gives you 45. So 45 is the ninth triangular number. Also, four plus five is nine. When you write out nine, you get 42. Also notice how they talk about the 14.3 points. We know that that is just the Scottish Rite Freemasons bringing the propaganda, Scottish Rite of Freemasonry equals 143. Death 25, Nikola Jokic, find $25,000. Understand Nikola Jokic is a joke. He's one of the theatrical comedic actors inside the NBA. It is a giant show, a giant joke from the Jewish Kabbalists, the false Jews from the book of Revelation. So I talk about it every time on this channel. The Zionist Jew, one world order, supremacist assholes, put on this propaganda. So we saw that. There's plenty more there. We'll see Dwayne Wade's birth numerology. Just for shits and gigs. Born it with 119 numerology. Do you see how he's participating in this Saturnian ritual? Saturn 11942. Playing in Miami. Remember they're talking about 45 points in nine games or whatever. Miami equals 45. So 45, oh, excuse me, 45% shooting in nine games. Miami equals 45. Sun equals nine, sun 27. This is a sun ritual. 45, the sun, the sum of Saturn's magic square. Sun equals 37 in the ALW Kabbalah cipher. So we see this pattern. Sun, the keeper of time. Saturn, the keeper of time. Saturn equals 42. His name sums to 42 against the Spurs, 42. 42 weeks from his upcoming birthday. This is how you know it's always a numerical riddle inside the NBA's propaganda. Notice how that happened. He missed his game on a date with a lifeless number of 29. And we'll see when he was born. Born on a date with 29 numerology. See how sun equals 18. It was a date with 18 numerology. He misses that game. 36, sun 36, and ALW. Miami 36. See how Miami has that numerology. Likewise, the date. Date with 47 numerology. Time equals 47. Very special number to the Freemasons. Elohim 47 in Hebrew. In English. 
Well, in Hebrew, excuse me, but 88, like Jewish, and Francis Bacon. <laughs> Do you see? They believe that they are God's chosen people, that all the Goy are just cattle. So you see Elohim and the Francis Bacon taking account the capital letter, which you always will. This is the biggest example. This, Saturn. I mean, you would never, ever, ever not capitalize Elohim. So Francis Bacon becomes the most relevant here. And it sums you 88, like Jewish. Not a coincidence whatsoever. This is who's crafting all this propaganda. That is who's... Because they, they're into Kabbalah. They believe that God created the world, combining the letter with the number. So they create your world, combining the letter with the number. It is that easy. They're, this is how they play God over your lives. And they do it perfectly. They, you know, I got a guy handed to them. They know what they're doing. Because they're smarter than all these dumbass retards who fall for this shit. So, this Ohio State Bearcats example shows more about the date numerology. Remember I said, look up for Buckeye, Ohio propaganda. There wasn't much things else in the mainstream, but again, they kept, kept talking about the elections. It's all propaganda in waves. They're trying to control your mind's eye. You can't give the glory too much. But I just sat here and thought, like, wait. This is the most specific thing they could do. If I was saying, look out for 1-1-7, slash Buckeye 17, Ohio 47, Ohio 29. I said this is going to be an Ohio-specific day. Look out for this. Buckeye 36, a day with 36 numerology, 117. I said they're going to give you a Buckeye, Ohio. They have to. So it's not just some false flag from Ohio. Well, yeah, because technically the sports are all false flags, but you know what I mean? It's not something like shooting or some even some election thing. No, it's literally Ohio State Buckeyes propaganda. It cannot be any more perfect. It is their basketball team, the Buckeyes. So they're, they're being super specific. For what I've been trying to call out. It honestly cannot be any better. And they win. You know, they spoil their homecoming party. 64 to 56. Again, the Catholic Church. Catholic 46. The Reflection of 64. Society of Jesus. Equals 56 in the full reduction. Sixty-four plus fifty-six equals one twenty. Just going back to twelve. Illuminati equals one twenty. Twelve that complete number. Bear cats. We gotta see what they sum to, why they are used in this ritual. Bear cat sixty-nine. Like Saturn. Breakouts 24, Saturn 42, the reflection, Freemason 147, Moon 57, Scottish Rite 57. You know, I really haven't even looked into it. I was just trying to show you, though, I said Ohio Buckeye propaganda, and look, we got this. Homecoming. I got to do homecoming. I see what this schematria is. Homecoming 57, like Bearcats. 102, the game sum, the score is 70, 120, just the same thing. There's 12 in numerology. Homecoming 42. Homecoming also sums you 51, because H can be 19, or H is 19 when you reverse, 1 plus 9 is 10. It's so reducing once. 51, like federal. And then, here, I have to document this. Just clear propaganda. She drank Kratom tea while pregnant. Then her newborn went into withdrawal. So, of course, I haven't done any clinical studies on Kratom. I can't sit here and tell you the truth about what happens if you drink Kratom tea while pregnant. Because I have no evidence to talk about it. But, this still appears to be more propaganda from the Zionist Jew-run pharmaceutical industry trying to scare you away from a plant-based remedy to something so they can make you take more of their bullshit and suffer from it. And I just see how they're putting this here. They're putting this down here. And when you click on the piece of propaganda, look at what it brings you to. A piece updated at 113. 
113 number for mainstream dishonesty. Mainstream 113 green screen 113 dishonest 113 Bible command 113 a says it's okay for the Jews to circumvent the Gentiles through deception. So dishonest equals 113 not true bullshit 113 politics 113 fiction 113 not factual 113 and that's all this is it's a bunch of non-factual fiction everything the grinch this thing about the grinch guys the story of the grinch stealing christmas guys that story is more believable than all the other propaganda they put out here i'd rather believe that there's some green dude out there doing this shit than this going on organically makes more sense to me because this stuff in the news makes absolutely no sense whatsoever Zero cents. All the idiots fall for it. Only seven, seven, seven. I mean, this is by them is propaganda. What happens when Muslims and Islamophobes both win? I just want to see the numbers on this. I'm about to close this video. It's supposed to be about Dwayne Wade. Yes. This is why I clicked on it. I want to see numbers on this. Number for Sun for Islam. Updated at 427. Islam equals 27. You see this? I said I want to close this video, but I just got to click on this. To see the time, 427. This cannot be any more clear. You know, people have been saying like it, this part blows them away about the videos. I that. Well, Zionist Jew false flag propaganda. It's always by these numbers. This is how it, every page is. It does blow me away too at times. It's like, damn, it's always so perfect. That's why I couldn't end the videos. Like it's gonna be so clear. Muslim, Islamophobe, it's gonna be Islamic bashing propaganda, like all this shit is. Here 109, a song 29, 19, an important number to the Quran. <laughs> Here we have a Muslim woman in a 109 video. I mean, it's just so obvious. It's 427. I cannot get over this. Islam 27, Sun 27. I knew there were gonna be the numbers for Islam inside this piece of propaganda. I knew it, and it's here. Not because I'm so good at this. I, I can't emphasize it enough. It's so fucking predictable. It is so predictable. I've shown again and again how... Guys, it's not just CNN. Breitbart, Fox News, all that shit's all the same. It's all by the numbers, propaganda. It's all fake news. You know, FDA approves first new flu drug. If there's death-killing murder, you know, death 20... If there's any more murderous, destructive, sacrificial numbers in this piece of propaganda, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> oh, no. Just the Freemasons branding... <laughs> just the Freemasons branding their propaganda. The FDA are the Freemasons. <laughs> FDA approves first new flu drug in nearly 20 years. Look, they show this goy being vaccinated with some poison, which is a very <laughs> redundant thing to say, because once you're vaccinated, you're poisoned, you know? It's like me saying you're being poisoned with some poison. I mean, just say you're being poisoned. Updated at 158. <laughs> Freemasonry equals 158. Freemasonry 58. Here. I mean, can I be even better? I just was going off saying how this is all by the... <laughs> oh, my God. You see, <laughs> with the red and blue pillars of Freemasonry. <laughs> Inside their propaganda. <laughs> Freemasonry Free 139 using the alphabetical order. And then when you reverse the alphabetical order, where A is 26 and Z is 1, you get 158. Just forwards alphabetical order, backwards alphabetical order. My last video, we saw how they paired the numbers for Scottish, right, of Freemasonry, and the update time at 1.43, and the video was a minute 27. This was NASA's propaganda. This was just yesterday. So now it's a new day, decoding new propaganda, Freemasonry 139, 158, this time without reducing, but we're still going forwards and backwards, you see?
and look at this FDA propaganda. Up to that one fifty eight with the <laughs> and then people still will troll and say that this is all bullshit. I mean, it's just hilarious. This is the best example I've seen in a minute. Holy shit. Talk about Freemasonic propaganda. <laughs> this is what the new drug's called, Zofluza. I hope this doesn't have the numbers for Freemasonry. It might have the death numbers we're looking for. Oh, no. <laughs> Freemason 42, Scottish Rite 57. Oh, well, no, no, no. Well, yes, but that's the wrong thing. I did not copy and paste that. <laughs> now the drum roll. Let's see what this is. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Masonry, 105-33-84-39. So, Flusa, 105-33-84. So, the name of the drug even has masonry numbers. Freemasonry inside the <laughs> the update time and the video length of the propaganda. You know, 99 second video as well. Unbelievable. Guys, the free, and I was just talking about the Zionist Jew run pharmaceutical industry, which is, you know, Freemasonry is all the same. Scotch Rite Freemasons are the Zionist Jews. Zofluza, <laughs> 84, like Zionism. And this has, now we have to take it back to the whole ritual part of it all, which I don't know why I said that because it's always the same. Rituals. Flu, 39, 42. These are Saturnian numbers. Saturn, 21, 39, 42. Moon, 15, 21. So, that's why Zofluza then sums to 30 like Saturn. S the 19th letter, 1 plus 9 is 10. So reducing once, it's 30. Whew. FDA is putting on some Saturnian propaganda by the numbers. FDA, you know, the numbers for pi. And then we'll just see its real name. Balo, or his chemical name, Balo Xavier Marboxo. Guys, this is all like Harry Potter-esque, magical, bullshit-ass, Freemasonic crap that I used to craft these names. All coded by the numerical system. You know, Ritual 81, 108 Freemasonic, Freemasonic equals 108. Also equals 189, every shuffling of 198. This is all Freemasonic propaganda. So there you have it. Let's just close this out before we get any longer than we need to be. Let's see the date they published this piece of propaganda. This is October 24th. Let's see if that date numerology has any. <laughs> 18, just like the chemical name 108. 45 the summer Saturday by the square. There were 68 days remaining, Pillar 68. Government 52, Prophecy 52. 45 again, the sum of Saturn's Magic Square. Murder murder 34. You know, literally trying to murder this goy with this poison, this vaccine. I mean, in reality, it's just another actress. It's probably the CIA just staging some more psyops for you. Discovery may solve Egyptian pyramids mystery. I'm not even going to click on this, or I guess I just did, but we're not going to look at this. But understand, this is fake news propaganda. All the history shit with the Egyptian pyramids, everything that you've been told is all propaganda from the Freemasons. I think the only thing you can do is try to find the most authentic artwork and look at it yourself and interpret it your way. You know, That's what people kind of spoke through art and creativity. And, you know, I know this, I know they fabricate some of the stuff, but like every last piece of artwork out there isn't, I don't think it's fabricated by this gang. Not every last piece, you know. So you gotta just do your own research. The remains of 
for you know, let me, let me just leave this alone. All right. Peace out.